Hello, good morning. This is the video for the last part of the unit 9 for 6th grade week 7. Buenos días, padres de familia y alumnos. Esta es nuestra última parte de la unidad 9. Es el cierre de la unidad 9 en nuestra semana 7 de trabajo para sexto grado. En esta ocasión les recuerdo la unidad 10 viene la próxima semana. Ya es nuestra última unidad para trabajar, así que no hay que dejar que se nos acumulen las tareas, ¿de acuerdo? Muy bien, vamos con los videos. Hello, I'm Picha Lufriti Ibarra, and we are in section number six. In this class, we are we're going to have a review about occupations, places, and vehicles. In occupation, we have policeman, teacher, chef, farmer, doctor, and pilot. In place, we have police station, school, restaurant, farm, hospital, and airport. In vehicles, we have police car, car, van, tractor, mustang, and plane. With this vocabulary, I would like that you say a complete sentence aloud. I'm going to give you the number one. A policeman works in a police station and drives a police car. Can you do it together? Okay. A teacher works in a school and drives a car. Next. A chef works in a restaurant and drives a van. Next. A farmer works in a farm and drives a tractor. A doctor works in a hospital and drives a mustang. A pilot works in an airport and flies a plane. With this vocabulary, I want you to do a crossword puzzle like this. But first, I want to give you the instructions. Instruction number one. You find the words across or down. Remember, across or down. Instruction number two. One letter in each square. And instruction number three. Read this sentence and find the correct word. I want to give you one example. Here is the example. Remember, who is the person who works in a farm? Excellent. A farmer. Very good. What does a farmer drive? A tractor. Very good. A tractor. Got it? It's not difficult. Now listen, for homework, I want, I want you to copy these sentences and do a crossword like this. Okay? Remember, stay safe, stay home. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm Cecilia Palmira, and today we are in session number seven. We are going to review occupations. Do you know who am I representing? Yes, a nurse. And the nurse works with a stethoscope at the moment, right? Good. Now let's check the vocabulary. We have a fire, tr fire truck, a house, an axe. Do you know who works with this? Yes, a fire fire. Now, an altimeter, headphones, and plane. Do you know who works with this? Yes, a pilot. We have a tractor, a shovel, a farmer fork. Do you know who works with this? A farmer, yes. Now, we have a police radio, handcuffs, and a police car. Do you know who works with this? A policeman, yes. Now, it's your turn to make some sentences. Now, let's make an example. Number one, the firefighter works with an Yes. And a house. Yes. And drives 
a fire hub. Okay, let's check. The firefighter works with an axe and a hose and drives a fire truck. Good. Now, in your notebook, write down the sentences and complete them with your cultural vocabulary, right? Good. Now, please stay safe, stay home. Good. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello everybody, this is Teacher Erasmo and this is session 8. We're talking about occupations and for this we're going to be playing a game called Guess Who. The first one, I want you to start thinking and figure out who builds houses, uses a trowel, a measuring tape, and make constructions. You have an idea? Yes! The mason. The next one. This person flies planes and uses a white and black uniform. You know who he is? Excellent. The pilot. Our next occupation, this person cooks meat and food in restaurants. Do you have any idea? Yes. The chef. Our next one. He works on farms, grows vegetables and fruit. Do you have any idea who he is? Yes, the farmer. And another person, he puts up fires and saves people in burning buildings. Do you have any idea? Excellent, the firefighter. And the last one. This person prevents crime and keeps our community safe. Do you have an idea? Yes, the police. For our next, next activity, we're going to fill in the blanks. An example is a mason builds Houses, buildings, schools. Please, in your notebook, copy the sentences and use the uh, action words that we just saw. Please go ahead. Thank you. Stay home and stay safe. Bye bye. How are you, students? Nice to have you here in this session number. I am teacher Rocio and look at me, I'm pretending to have a different occupation. Can you guess which one? Let's see. Am I a farmer? No, I'm not. Am I a pilot? No, I'm not. Yes, you're right. I'm a doctor. Let's do a little report about doctors. First, we have to mention the place where they work. Do they work in restaurants? No, they don't. Do they work in schools? No, they don't. They work in clinics or hospitals. Okay? Next, we have to talk about the actions they do. Do they fly planes? No, they don't. Do they cook food? No, they don't. Doctors cure sick people and prescribe meds. Okay, now let's see the tools they use for checking the patients. Do they use a police radio? No, they don't. Do they use a hose? No, they don't. They use a stethoscope for checking the patients. And finally, you can add additional information about doctors. For example, doctors wear a white coat like this. There are different kinds of doctors like vets or dentists. And in my family, my sister is a doctor. As you see, 
We finish the short report about doctors. Now, choose any occupation you like. For example, dentist, pilot, policeman, firefighter, any occupation you prefer and write a report. Follow the steps I just gave you. Write it in your notebook and send it to your teacher. Stay safe, stay home. Bye. Let's start with the activities for this week. Activity number one. En la actividad número uno, chicos, tenemos que responder las preguntas y las respuestas, acomodarlas de acuerdo a cómo nos lo ponen en el crucigrama, ¿de acuerdo? Acuérdense, down es para abajo, verticales, across son acostaditas, horizontales. Activity number two. En la actividad número 2, chicos, tenemos nuestro banco de palabras abajito. Tenemos que complementar la herramienta y lo que se necesite de cada una de las profesiones, ¿de acuerdo? Ya sea el vehículo, ya sea la herramienta, etc. Activity number 3. En la actividad número 3 tenemos que completar las oraciones usando los verbos que nos ponen en las cajitas de color rosa, ¿de acuerdo? Ya los vamos a ver en el video, no se compliquen, todas las respuestas ya saben, las podemos sacar de nuestros videos. Para la actividad última de nuestra unidad, chicos, nos pide hacer un reporte. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? Read the following report. And think about your favorite profession and write one on your own. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? Vamos a escoger una profesión diferente, no vamos a copiar doctor. Vamos a escoger una profesión y con ella a complementar la información que nos piden armando un pequeño reporte. Como un resumen, como un ensayo este de lo que hace, de dónde trabaja, qué herramientas usa y alguna información in, eh, adicional. Podemos usar diccionario, podemos usar internet, podemos usar nuestro libro, podemos entrevistar a algún familiar. Es su decisión. Esto va escrito en nuestro cuaderno, ¿de acuerdo? Muy bien. Cualquier duda, chicos, sigo a sus órdenes. Bye.